Hi, my name is Ashlyn and I'm on a journey to own a mortgage-free home in the next five years. We're all just leaving the time of year where we probably spend just a little too much. So to kind of counteract that and the fact that we have less of an income and a new baby in our family, we are going to be doing a no spend month in this month of January. And I wanted to share a few of my tips for having a successful no spend month. First up, the rules for our no spend is to not spend any money on things that aren't essential anyway. So we will be paying our bills, we'll be buying groceries, all of that sort of thing, but we're not going to be spending any money on any unnecessary items. The first tip I have for successful no spend is to have a why for your no spend. For us, we're trying to pay for a master's degree without any debt, as well as save for a house at the same time. So keeping our why in mind, especially when things get hard during the no spend is very helpful. Tip two is to identify your spending triggers. One of the best things I've done for myself in my budgeting and just my ability to save money is to get off of social media. I deleted all of the apps off of my phone so that I'm not constantly bombarded with people that are telling me things that I need to do or places I need to eat or items that I have to have. If you find yourself spending more because you're on social media, then it could be a good thing to try getting off during your no spend. There's also the more obvious ones I'll be avoiding, like walking around stores like Target. And a big one for me is staying off of Facebook Marketplace. Tip three is to turn off all unnecessary subscriptions. It's a good practice to go through all of the things you're paying for regularly anyway, but if you take a break from the subscriptions you have that you might think are kind of necessary during your no spend, you might realize it's not something you actually need. Tip four is to plan your no spend for a time that is going to work well. So for us, January is kind of a dead month. There's not a whole lot that goes on. We don't have any big celebrations. Um, we've planned ahead for the one birthday that we do have and there's no trips planned. So this is a great month for us to plan on not spending any money that we don't need to. And my last tip is don't let the setbacks knock you off the horse. If you mess up and you spend money that you shouldn't have, then you can either return the items and just erase that mistake, or you can just keep track of how much you spent, where you spent it, and on what day of your no spend. And then depending on how intense you are about your no spend, you can either start over the next day as day one of your no spend, or you can just keep track of that mistake and try to get past that day of spending in your next no spend. So those are my tips for setting yourself up for success in not spending any money during a specific amount of time. I would love to know if you have ever done a no spend and what your biggest takeaway from your no spend was. If this is something you've never tried before, it could be something to look into if you find yourself having a budget that just keeps getting too fluffy or you're just starting out and you really need to figure out what it is that you can cut back on. If you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like so that other people can find it as well. And I will see you again next week for another video. Bye. All right, all right, all right.